Hello, ladies I'm and gentlemen, and welcome to episode one of Let's Play Factorio. <laughs> Pike's trying to talk. And uh, I'm here with myself, DJ, Electrobot, and Pike. And we're going to play, you know, Factorial Multiplayer. It's the Steam release. And it's going to be an interesting Let's Play series because it's probably going to be a little less serious, I guess. I don't know. And now you can talk, Pike. I was just going to say I'm also kind of streaming at the same time. Oh, are you? I'm nice. I'm trying it out. Absolutely no viewers and probably will not have any, but... Eh. Hey, as long as you, you know, aren't destroying the server, we're good. You can tell... Do you guys have... Um, if you hit... Yeah, if you guys hit F4 and go to... Um, I guess always... Uh, the always debug one there you can click I think it's like the fifth one down show multiplayer waiting statistics and that'll show you what the game's actually waiting on like who is causing the most weight on the server if you're trying to figure out who it is now the server fluctuates usually based on the players I think a lot so I'm not quite sure on that but um, it gives you an idea if a player lags then who suffers from it but yeah Let's start doing this. Okay, so we're gonna start working on getting right some coal. Getting some stone. No oh, wait. Oh man. Back and I, forth. I'm lost now because of all the new icon changes. I wonder if this is accurate. Does mine say zero all the time or no? Mine says zero all the time. Yes. I think it's locally. Oh. Oh, yeah. So the. Okay. Oh, that doesn't help much. But either way, we'll have to call out each other. It's like, Electro, you jumped to eight. What are you doing, man? A whole eight. Oh, yeah. I need some trees, I guess. Of course, the trees are like a mile away from my base. <laughs> I think I put some trees after the oil and the little tiny lake on everybody's base, but I'm not sure to be honest. My copper vein is not symmetrical compared <laughs> to the other ones. Wait, really? Yeah. It's off? Mm-hmm. Really? Yep. That's weird. It's not supposed to be. Is this map, like, random generated at a certain point, or is it, like... It is random yeah. generated. I just modified our inner part for ourselves, okay. I'll, yeah. I'll just make sure, because I know this isn't that random generated right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, it really is. They, their map editor is completely crappy when it comes to that kind of stuff. And we'll keep the server up, but I do ask you guys not to AFK overnight on it or whatever. <laughs> that way other people don't get screwed. So if you want to come on and play it and stuff, that's fine. But like, um, when everyone logs off, it pauses, which is really nice. Get on, all the biters are insanely hard. Yeah, that's pretty much what would happen if one person did that. And... Though it's like 100 hours to get to max biters or something. Actually, I think it's going to be even more than that. But Because you can see biter evolution in the top left is 0.0, .0 and already it would be about 0.1 at least. It's, it's ridiculously fast. There's a gear there too, by the way, and you can turn off options like show daylight and you can show kill count, which is for your team. I got them to make sure they did that and time played and it has player locations as well. So you can actually see where all the players are, which is kind of nice if you, you know, nearby pollution. Actually, I'm going to do that one. I always like that one. They should enable nearby pollution and then that way you can get an idea of who's the worst polluter. <laughs> That's what Togi and I used to do. We tried to like see who create the worst pollution in their base and try to beat each other from it.
Oh, I did get all my ammo. It just some was in my inventory. Okay. And what's next? I need some iron for sure. Um, I need stone. Let's mine some stone by hand. I'm really playing slow, but I'm just making sure everyone's gonna, you know, do fine. Oh, and, oh, because you guys are quite new, or a couple of you anyways, and I think Pike is new to RSO, period, I made sure the veins had, I think that each one has about 500k resources each, just to give you an idea. So, I mean, that doesn't mean a lot now, but later on in your P for production, it'll it'll be good information for you just to keep an idea, like, how much have you used and, you know, how far you are till using it. Hey, Lester, you want to show me a screenshot of your uh, your copper? Why it's different? It's uh, five by five on the outside. They're all supposed to be five by five on the yeah. outside. Oh, never mind. No, I, I can't count them. Okay. Yeah. I I used a ten brush with a weight of a thousand on it and clicked it twice so okay. sh they should be exactly I even because there's no tools or math what I did was I moved my keyboard and just not the mouse and I went all the way to the next person's base placed the patch went up to the next player's base and then when you hit the corner it was off and then I fixed that corner and so I made everything pretty much lined up exactly Whoa, it's, it's, it's funny when you haven't played a while, it's like, whoa, how do you play this a game again? I'm really doing bad. It's like, I'm completely forgetting how to play. <laughs> I mean, it's been an entire year since I played, right, Pike? this I really like the new soundtrack uh, actually we're gonna probably double these soon cheat with that double triple hate the blinking. I'm gonna get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Um, waiting icon. There you go. That way we don't see that annoying pulsating always happening. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do here. Drill. That'll work, but I'm out of stone again, so I'm going to have to go and get a bunch more here. We should really automate this as well. So I don't have to worry about those 
bug things till later, right? Uh, yeah, but you should be also worried. Yeah. Yeah. You should, you know, when you can build a couple of turrets, for example, you should place a couple of turrets. Yeah, but I, sh I don't have to rush turrets. No, no, no. On this one, it's definitely a lot chilled, and we're not. I'm not modifying pollution like I have in the past. Some servers I modify it so pollution lingers really far. <laughs> but there's none of that here. When Togi and I played, we we started so many times over, and we kept just cranking things up harder and harder. Keep not making enough, getting enough coal already. Need more coal. Not enough coal. Not enough Vespine gas. Got eight burner inserters just on the coal. Nice. Still not enough, damn it. Wait, how many burners do you have on coal? Eight. Trying to remember the ratio of the boilers. Fourteen ten. Boil it. You're already on that part of things. Holy crap! I'm really behind then. What's after chest? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, wait. You you actually were able to find wood. You you cheated, didn't you? No, I <laughs> along the way I picked up stuff. See, that would have been smart, although it would have been a lot slower. Oh, yeah. That's what I did. By too. the way, uh, trees. yeah, you guys realize if you make a pickaxe, uh, second icon in crafting, they'll cut down trees a lot faster. Oh, yeah. I thought I'd let you know so it doesn't take you two hours to take one tree down. <laughs> I think you actually even get better yield. I'm not sure, though. Should get some coal here. But yeah, those are gonna need a refill too, but yeah, we'll get that after. I really just want to get the one over here it's just so that we have stone on the go. And then I guess we could do set up here. I guess we can do two setups here. Oh no, you took my last furnace! And then I'm out of stone again. <laughs> That's the downside of running out of stone at low levels. You just run through it like no tomorrow. Okay, so one here, one here. Should probably get started on copper production soon. <laughs> Map's turning red. <laughs> you can actually turn off the mini map one, I think, somewhere, but I guess mine's always off. Yeah, I think I turned it off for my mini map, but left it on for the map, and then you hit alt, and you can turn it on and off too. So if you hit alt, you can probably turn it off. Oh crap. Should I be smelting all my fuel that I mine? Smelting it? Into yeah. uh, coke coal or oh no you want to uh, you mean you want to macerate it into uh, dust? No, it's like smelt the iron in Oh yeah yeah, well like all the coal you make you should probably put it into things like iron and copper and Um do you have things like you have the burner, right? Do you have your burner attached to the furnace? No. You could do that so like the ore automatically goes into the furnace. And that mm. way you got like a mini automation there. Mm, cool. Yeah, everything Another else. Another thing that's handy, burner miners, you can put them in like a square or a circle so they all feed into each other so you don't have to worry about the ones on the coal. Nice. Yeah. Or you could do what I do and put it in a chest. But that, that, I used to do that. Actually, I should do that now. 
I used to do that, but then for some reason I thought you can't do that, but you're right. It's when you do them into themselves they don't work right. Though they'll have smaller storage, but you don't have to worry about them as long as you pick them up. And if you hit control click, you can loot whatever that's producing. Oops, I just looted the coal like an idiot. And if something comes chasing you bad wise, just jam your space bar and just like your mouse towards them and it will kill them. It's like sort of like an automatic fire system. So just hold down space bar and just point your mouse to the closest guy. Because that would be like the worst thing. No one's around and you're getting attacked. <laughs> you just can't, you don't know how to kill them. Mike, you got a car yet? Yeah, three. <laughs> one more, and then we all have one. You're gonna share them. I should go check out your stream here. I don't know why it's like not showing the whole thing. My monitor capture. Oh, um, just right. Oh, you're... fit the screen, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It. Nah. It's all right. What's your name, anyways? AKA Pike Peeker. You sure you set? Factorio? Oh, not at all. I'm playing Minecraft. <laughs> well, when you said to Factorio, let me know. Edit Factorio. It'll take a couple minutes, though, for it to show, but yeah. I'm using this thing called Ankbot, so I don't actually go to Twitch anymore. I, I lose out my viewer account, which I don't really care. I just, you know, it's there to see the players talk to me and say hi to them, but... Playing on server Factorio. Sounds good. Stupid broadcast. So. <laughs> I guess Electro has to go to bed soon. Not yet. No, <laughs> but uh, I will have to get up early tomorrow. Yeah, I know. Five or six or something you get up at? Five, Five? forty, yeah. Yeah, damn. Damn, girl. Damn, Daniel. How did you know, DJ? <laughs> How do you get it to show? I just hit something. I messed up. How do I get it to show the icons over again? Alt, 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 alt. Okay, there it is. Yeah. Now I'm happy. I feel like I'm doing good at my uh, pollution. My pollution's about 1,100 on average in the area. Oh, this area is about 1,300. Oh, almost 2,000 at my uh, coal mine. Yours is probably higher than mine, though. How do you tell? Um, you you know the biter evolution at the top left. There's a gear there, and you can enable certain features, so you can do nearby pollution levels at the bottom of the settings. Which is really oh, okay. nice. Uh, mine's about 3,000. You're my cold. 3,000? Nice. Let's see if you show up. Oh, there, yeah. Zero viewers. I might watch this guy. He seems like he deserves a view.
I hope I'm doing this right. I feel like I'm not doing it right. Are you having fun? <laughs> that then yeah. you're doing it right, yeah. right? That's that's how I see. If you're having fun, you're doing it right. Okay, I'm gonna put this here, this here, this here. We'll just overdo it. Oh yeah, but our copper is full. We're getting there. No, it wasn't. Oh, I guess we've taken it out once or twice. in this power. I don't like your stream anymore, Pike. I just have to research tin bayers and all that logistics up there. Well, advanced bayers. All that phone stuff. Yep. I guess I should start so working on will be refilling your stuff with coal, okay? Yeah, I do. At first, I do it all by hand for fun. I enjoy it, and I think it's a bit of a breakup from the automation. <laughs> I do everything like For the first little right bit, now. until you get electricity, it's not really worth it, I don't think, to automate with, like, coal burners and all that. No. Inserters. Yeah, you know, once you get things going, I find at low levels, though, you can move more by hand than you could do automation. But yeah, once you get some of the automated stuff, it's then faster to do that. But I don't like sitting there, spending a lifetime, you know, waiting for the materials to create one extra little conveyor belt. I'd rather make like a hundred of them at once kind of thing. I like that. They'll fix themselves up. Water be gone. <laughs> I can what do you take mean? a guess at what that does. What, what was it? Water be gone. I can take a guess at what that does. Oh, it fills in the oh, water? Yeah. Landfill to Stone Legion. <laughs> does it actually say that? Yeah. Oh yeah, because my mo one mod, I guess I must... I don't know why it's modifying all of them, but my one mod, I guess, puts the Stone Legion tag on everything. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. And yet, it's not required. What can I say? I wanted uh, people to know who we were. There's a tape measure there you can make at the very last uh, cut category. Okay, let's see here. Let's build some more stuff here. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we'll just handcraft a bunch of red potions okay oh crap yeah it's not gonna work because I forgot if you make the furnaces then it consumes it you gotta make furnaces after derp 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 there you go Maybe we'll get some of this copper production slightly up. Not that I really need it, but... Let's 
Is it control click? No. Maybe it's like control shift? There you go. That does half. I knew there was an option. Sucks that you can't go in between burners. I always thought you could, but I guess not. I think on episode two we'll probably start working on some of the automation, just make it a little more exciting. I could like share this with this. I guess I could do that. Or like this. Weird, I'm an extra drill. How did that happen? Huh. Thought I did two and two. Did I? Oh, no, I did put two there. I don't know. Either way, I only got lots of stone. Mm -hmm. So what, we, we're at the point where we're doing more machine work on, than on the Stone Legion server and we're still at 60 UPS? <laughs> <laughs> and then we should probably start one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen of the boilers. That'll be good. And then we'll probably need some piping. And, uh, oh yeah, and then we'll need one of these, of course. I might go a little. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, I could do them in fives, but got, I like doing them in ones. And then five, ten. One, two, three, four. There we go. We'll just be crazy enough to do all those. And then, did I do the pipe thing at all? I don't know if I ever did. Oh yeah, I did one of the offshore pump. So I need one more offshore pump. And that should deal with that kind of stuff. And then we're going to need a bunch of these, so... Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. And then we're going to need a bunch of conveyor belts, of course. And then automated mining. Electric drill, so let's say, uh, I don't know. 1, 2, 3, 4. I guess we'll start just with that first, and then we'll worry about everything else. And then I need more transport belts, but I need more iron, which, there we go. 5, 10, 15, 22, 5, 30, 5, 40, 45, 50. We'll make you two, so I'll make a hundred. So there you go. We're in full crafting swing now. That'll make life a little easier. And then of course we'll need a science station and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, continue on the next episode. Thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we will see you wonderful guys and girls next time.